Hey, hey guys, it's Brianna here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. Today I have a really exciting video to be doing for you guys. As you can tell by the title of this book, I'm going to be talking about some sports romance, specifically football romances, because it is football season and I'm just really excited about sharing all of these recommendations. I have eight books on this list that I felt were amazing to recommend to you guys. Hopefully you guys find a book that you haven't read yet, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start with probably one of the more well-known authors that is really just doing all the things in social media. Like her books are definitely making the rounds through social media and she is just, I absolutely adore her. She's just got married and she's just precious. The book I have for you guys today is The Wrong Game and this is obviously by Candy Steiner. Y'all, I read this book last year. And I think I did, no, I read it on my Kindle. Oh my God. This book is literally everything I could ever want in a book. Basically our heroine, which I don't remember her name. So y'all, if you don't know this about me, I'm really bad with character names. I'm sorry. It is my toxic trait. I am horrible. Our heroine is named Gemma. She is the definition of a football fan that's all she does like she loves going to the games she knows all the statistics like she will go toe-to-toe -to -toe with somebody with statistics she is a diehard uh fan of football and we meet our character zach and they kind of like strike up a deal because she actually recently just got divorced and it was pretty ugly and she kind of wants to get back at him so they her and Zach kind of strike up this deal to do a fake dating situation and it obviously just builds from there and y'all oh my god I really want to reread this book because it is just such a good book I need to read the sequel which follows her friend in this book it's called the right player I think the right player or the wrong player something like that I just I cannot talk about this book enough like it is so good. My second popular author when I think about football romances I think of Carla Sorensen. This is book one in the Washington Wolf series and this is the bombshell effect. I actually just listened to the book this summer. I planned on binging the series but just with my trip to Disney and Book Bonanza, I never actually got to finish the series. So I think it may be soon. I actually might reread this and then um, dive into book two and book three. I actually got about halfway through the book two and I just never finished. So I definitely just need to restart the book. I didn't feel it was necessary to mark it as DNF or really do anything with it. It had nothing, like the book was not bad. I just never got around to finishing it because those two weeks for Book Bonanza and Disney were just absolutely insane and by then I was already moving on to other books. It obviously follows a football team obviously because that's what you're here for um, but our character is Allie Sutton and she actually just got a new job. She's actually working for this team and <laughs> obviously nobody wants a female in the sports world to kind of basically step in and tell them what to do but I love that there's another book that I'm actually going to re recommend I'll talk about it after this one that kind of has the same vibes to it so it'll kind of go hand in hand but obviously one of the players Luke Pearson does not agree with this and they kind of go toe to toe and but what I love about this book is he's actually a single dad to um their his daughter and I do not remember what her name is because like I said I'm horrible with names but this was absolutely adorable I can understand why this is such a loved series in the book community so I would definitely go check this book out there is a spinoff series I don't remember um, what the series is called, but one of the books is called Focused, and now there's like a spinoff that bridges this series and that series, and they all kind of like tie in together, so I really need to get caught up because I loved this book. So the book that kind of go hands in hand that I literally hear nobody talk about, which I don't understand, is The Playbook by Kelly Elliott. This has the same premise where she um, takes over a team, and her job is to kind of give them obviously literally a play-by-play -play of how to win the game and I like I said I don't know names because I am horrible we have Brett and Aubrey so Aubrey is 
you know, helping to take over the team, her dad just stepped down and we're talking about, I think, is this the University of Texas, like UT, or based off of that team? I cannot remember. Um, but anyway, what kind of makes this one stand out is Brett is actually one of those bad boy characters who needs to get his act together because he is now starting to struggle and it's kind of like her job to bring him back from it and they obviously go toe-to-toe -to -toe with each other but y'all this one is so good it is a true standalone so if you want a book to just read and not have to worry about committing to a series here's literally the perfect recommendation for it so please go check this out please please go read it not enough people are talking about this book and i don't understand why like it deserves more hype and i like it needs more another book that is like one of my all-time favorite books i need to do a reread of it because this book is one of those that has literally stuck with me and i read it probably in 2015 so it's been about seven years since i've read this book and literally nobody talks about this book it is the end game by kate mccarthy oh my god oh my oh my god i cannot gush about this book enough it is i think a high school School, if not college I just can't remember because like I said oh senior year of college so they are older um but we have Brody and Jordan now I really like this one because we actually have two athletes is it Jordan I think yeah Jordan actually plays soccer and then Brody obviously plays football and so obviously they both have very chaotic schedules and they are very dedicated to their sports and they go through a lot of struggles together as a couple and just individually um, I wish I could talk about this book more because it really deserves more attention. But like I said, I read this book so long ago that I really do not remember. But oh my god, this book needs more hype. If you take any recommendation out of this video, please, please let it be this one. This is also a standalone, so if you need a book that you can just read and be done and not have to commit to a series, let it be this one. I take it back. The playbook, yes, it needs more people to read it, but this one, please please <laughs> I need more people to talk about this book it is so good and it makes me so sad that nobody talks about it because it is so good like I'm probably gonna do a reread of it like it oh I can't I can't I can't another that follows college romance is gonna be hashtag nerd by Cambria Hebert this is another book I feel like when it came out and around when the series was finishing it had a lot of hype in the bookstagram world but I really haven't seen anybody talk about it recently so this is a commitment I'm gonna warn you now book one out of like book eight it does so the first I think it's the first three books follow the same couple that is in this book and then it branches to other characters that we meet throughout the books and then the last basically two books are kind of like an ep bonus epilogue kind of story but y'all this like it is so good like it makes me happy but there's also like suspense elements to this so please know that it's not like a go happy go lucky book so if you want one that has kind of like a suspense element or kind of like a creepy factor read this one read it oh my god so we follow two characters obviously duh and we follow follow Rimmel and Romeo obviously Romeo is the football player Rimmel is your definition of a nerd, literally the title. She is a nerd. She also is working on being a vet and she just loves to take care of animals. So if you are a dog person, read, <laughs> please read this book. It just, oh, uh, it hits me in the feels. Like I love this series so much. Cameron Huber is like an autobi author. I haven't read her books in quite a while, but she is just, I just love her storytelling. It is a very easy read. Like, yes, it is a commitment to get through this series, but you wouldn't know that because of how fast they read and you just get sucked into the story. But y'all, please go start this series because it just, it makes me happy about thinking about this series because I, it holds such a big place in my heart um sorry my voice keeps cracking I promise I'm not getting like emotional I kind of am but <laughs> I'm still getting over being sick I am filming a bunch of videos all at once so probably when you see this I'm probably good to go so I'm just letting you know <laughs> when I'm filming this my voice is still cracking so I really apologize but <laughs> I gotta make it work like I can't just not sit here and do nothing anymore so anyway <laughs> continuing on I have The Rivalry by Nikki Salone 
I know she's a very popular author, but I actually really don't hear a whole lot of people talking about this book. I know that, uh, I can't remember her name, but her, I'll put her channel in the description, but I think it's, um, it's nothing better than a book. She gives some recommendations and I'm pretty sure she talks about this book too. Um, so if you want to go get more recommendations, definitely go check out her video. But, um, this is a rival team. So we have, and again, I don't know. Let me see if I can find, because I'm pretty sure this is dual point of view. Yeah, we have Kayla and Jay. They are on rival teams. Obviously, Kayla obviously does not play, but she supports a different team. And it just becomes kind of quite the dynamic because they obviously are hardcore fans of the team and it's kind of them getting over that and forming a relationship from it. I read this book a long time ago. I got an arc of it. I don't remember how I got it. I think I won it in a giveaway obviously before it released and this book has been out for years now. I'm just very like appreciative that I still have this copy. I just never will get rid of it even though I've gotten rid of all my physical copies. And it's actually signed by Nikki. I didn't want to get rid of it. Just I just thought it was really cool. Um, anyway, so I really enjoyed this book. I really like when I can find series that have like rival teams and seeing how, yes, they are hardcore fans of this team and it can kind of put issues into the relationship. But I like how despite that, they form a really uh, cute love story because of it y'all it's so good I need to reread it y'all I'm not kidding all of these books except for bombshell effect and the wrong game I haven't read some of these books in years so it is time to do some rereading because I'm excited. So next up I have Intercepted by Alexa Martin. This one is actually an adult professional team and we have our heroine Marley she is basically the perfect girlfriend she is dating an NFL star but things kind of happen obviously and we have Gavin who is the quarterback but they actually have a past and things kind of progress from there so I really enjoyed this one it, I, what I've really liked about it is this is a professional team. I don't think any of the other recommendations I have off the top of my head are professional teams. Everything else was a college team. So if you want more, that's like more of an adult, like career type one. Here you go. Last up, I have another one of like my all time favorite books. It is The Hardest Fall by Ella Mays. This is a... <laughs> college romance and we have our characters and we have Dylan and <laughs> I don't remember and Zoe so Dylan is struggling in school and he needs to move out of his apartment and the coach offers for him to move into his apartment but when he moves into the apartment it actually happens that Zoe is actually there and he's like, but wait, I thought I had the apartment to myself. And so it's just kind of them learning about each other. And I don't want to give too much away because there's a lot of like plot twists and things that kind of reveal and why Zoe is there. And it is just a really good book. It's pretty chunky. So it is it is quite the roller coaster of emotions with this book. Um, Ella Mays is probably well known for her marriage for one book. That's probably one of her most popular books. This is so far still the only book I've read by her. I go hard for this book like this is another one of my all-time favorite books I definitely need to do a reread of it because it is one of those that you just get sucked into their story and you are so invested in what is going on why is she there why is everything so secretive and it's just oh my god it's so good it is so good so those are my eight football recommendations for you guys if you guys want more sports romance recommendations in general the perfect person to go to. I have a friend on Bookstagram who I actually got to meet in person at Book Bonanza. She is literally the person to go to for any type of sports recommendation. Like I'm not joking. So you need to go check out Joss from Sports Chick Reads on Bookstagram.
that is all she that is pretty much all she recommends is sports romance and she is like always my go-to for any type of sports recommendations so if you want more that are just out of football and you just need a good sports recommendation please go to her she is like my go-to um her recommendations are perfection she has all these lists like she's the automatic person I go to if I need if I'm looking for a specific recommendation I cannot recommend her enough um I hope you guys enjoy this video if you guys want to see any more sports recommendations please let me know if you have any recommendations for more football romances I should check out that I did not talk about definitely put those in the comments but until my next video I'll see you guys later bye guys